What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultimate Device Vids, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at 5 great Cydia tweaks that have been released in April of 2016 so far. So these are just some of the tweaks that I think have, you know, the best quality and that are the most useful. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So first up we have Edge. This is available for $1.99, and this brings the Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 feature, the Edge display when you swipe over from the right to iOS. So basically you swipe over and you have various options. The first page shows you your recent applications in your app switcher you could just tap on them to launch as you can see there and again it's very useful to have that right on the side just being able to swipe over the next section is basically your preferences so you could actually add applications to show up there you know your favorite application so if you select add it'll show you a list of all the apps on your device you could just select any app for example Facebook as you saw there and let's just try the settings app as well and of course you could just tap on these apps to launch them as well so you could have your handy little app launcher on the side if you swipe over again you have something called the tasks edge and this basically provides you with shortcuts to particular portions of particular apps so you see there take photo or search the app store for example if we just select search the app store it'll take us to the app store right into the search section straight you know right off the bat and you could select plus to add your own task there's various to choose from and basically how this tweak gets these tasks is it uses 3d touch shortcuts which are already built into iOS for example with Facebook here you might notice write post upload photo those are 3d touch shortcuts so as you can see here, let's just add a new tab in Safari. We could tap on, and again, it's going to take us to a new tab just like that. And even though the task section does utilize 3D touch, you know, shortcuts, that does not mean it won't work on older devices. On older devices like the iPod Touch here, as you can see, we could still use the task section. And as you can see, it's still going to show us all of those through 3D touch shortcuts, even though, again, it, the device doesn't have 3D touch itself. So you can still use tasks even if you have an older device. Now, you could also tap and hold on any of your tasks to delete them, as you can see here. You could just select the X and it will remove them. Same thing goes for your favorite apps. You could just select X and again, it's going to remove your favorite apps like so. All right, so let's get into the next section, and that's the People's Edge. Basically, if you select any of these plus buttons, you could add your favorite contacts, so you could easily contact your favorite people from this section. So after you add a contact, basically just tap on the contact, and you could either email the person, call them, or iMessage them. So this basically just serves as a place where you could contact all of your favorite people. So now I want to redirect your attention to the bottom of the screen. As you can see here, when we're swiping between these pages, we get that nice little indicator down below at the bottom, so that's a nice design touch. There's also a gear icon if you select the gear icon it'll take you to the settings for edge so in the settings you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak then if you go into configuration you could basically rearrange the pages that I just talked about you could also disable certain pages or reset the default order back to the way it was you could also change the activation area so basically where you're gonna have to swipe using these sliders as you can see you could rearrange it just like that so that's convenient as well you could go into makers and the creator is CP digital darkroom and of course you could get support with the tweak if you need it so edge is a very solid tweak and I always appreciate tweaks that bring features from other devices to iOS all right so next up we have lattice this one is available for free and this basically adds the option to clear the cache to the 3d touch you know shortcuts menu for every app as you can see right here so again this is for every single application even apps that don't usually have a 3d touch toggle or 3d touch shortcut shortcuts menu as you can see right here so this is very convenient because various applications for example Twitter and Facebook oftentimes you know profile photos and photos build up you know in the cache and iOS stores those things for no apparent reason there's also various other circumstances in which you you know could need to clear the cache so this basically makes that a reality and makes it very easy to clear cache for specific apps it also works on older devices if you if you use a tweak like reveal menu or 4c to enable 3d touch on the older device then you could actually use this tweak in conjunction so definitely check out latest it's available for free next up we have exto this is available for 99 cents and it allows you to tap and hold on your folders to actually see this new fan out menu of all the apps within that folder and basically you could release your finger on one of the apps and it opens up that particular app so very useful way to quickly open up apps within a folder again just by tapping and holding on the folder and then the apps will fan out just release your finger on the app you want to open and you're there just like that so very well designed impressive you know well designed awesome tweak. I really love this one. 
Um, so basically, there's various options to configure as well for the tweak. If you open up the settings app, you could just head over to the Exto preferences. You have the ability to enable the show notification glow. This is a cool option. Basically, if there's an application in the folder that has a badge notification, in my case, the messages app, it's basically going to make that application glow in the fan out menu. As you see there, there's that cool little red glowing you know, I guess animation or glowing blur there. So that's pretty cool. You could also limit the icons if you don't want things to get too hectic. So if you could toggle on limit icons, then you have the limit icon slider, which you could configure to, you know, your preferred number. Then you have some other options in here as well to configure it to your liking. So epic tweak, awesome design, and I'm a big fan of this one. Next up, we have mini time. And as you can see here, it cleans up the lock screen time interface. On the left, we have this time, and on the right, we have the date and, you know, day a week. And it looks really clean, much cleaner than Apple's stock, you know, design, if you guys ask me. And if you open up settings, you can open up the mini time preferences and enable or disable the tweak. There's two theme options. There's simple and MIUI, which I actually prefer. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And again, there's various other configuration options, various things you could tinker with, configure to your liking. I'm just going to respring and show you that MIUI. MIUI as opposed to simple. Um, as you see there, there's MIUI. I personally like that better than the one that I showed you before, but again, that's completely up to you. Uh, but either way, I think it cleans up the lock screen interface and just makes things look a little bit simpler and a little bit less bulky and, you know, oversized. So again, this one's available for free, so definitely go check this one out. So the fifth and final tweak is message delete confirmer. When you basically swipe to delete a message, when you actually select delete, as you see here, it's going to ask you if you're sure that you want to delete it. You could select cancel to keep the message or select delete to actually remove the message. This could save you if you accidentally hit delete and, you know, regretted it. So let me know what you guys think about these tweaks down below in the comments section. You know, I'm definitely a big fan of Xdo and Edge and again, Lattice as well. So some really awesome tweaks in here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on city of tweaks, jailbreak content and some iOS content as well. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.